So um, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna put this one to our side. Um, we're gonna say that we're happy with that the way that is looking right now. Uh, so you can see there's no um, UVs that are touching anything else. So we're gonna just move this to the to one side. It doesn't really matter. Like uh, you guys already know that this area kind of this tiles for now, so for it's just moving out the space, so because we're going to be modifying this bit here now, so we'll just bring this in. Um, uh, I tend to do this is to remove the ears now from the actual model. So a quick way to select these are just uh, if you turn this off and uh, make a selection on this side, and. Um, the faces that you don't need, you just quickly unselect them. So you can use a combination of um, the the 2D view and the 3D view here. So um, this, my system has completely frozen for some reason. Okay, so I'm just going to deselect all these areas that I'm using. So I don't need this. And I'm going to do pretty much the same uh, for the other side of the area as well. I'm going to, um, once I've selected what I need, for instance, this, I'm going to separate it by hitting, um, obviously, again, um, the break option. Move that to one side. Um, I'm going to do the same thing um, on the other side. I'm just going to pause the video. It'll make the mic uh, make it faster for me to actually do that because it's slowing the system down. So now that I've separated both of these, um, the ears are separate from my um, from the back of the head. I'm going to go ahead and select all these uh, faces here. So a quick way to do is if you turn on a select uh, by uh, element and if you hit um, if you hit, uh, click on mapping and hit flatten, uh, flatten mapping just leave the settings the way they are and press ok you'll see that this is created like these separate chunks for me and I'm pretty much going to use these chunks as um, uh, my uh, UVs as you can see these are not um, stretching anymore uh, we'll have to fix some of these bits here, join them up uh, to the uh, the back. So uh, this will be uh, this is the other uh, option that we're doing again, regardless of if you're going to use Photoshop or 3D um, 3D uh, painting uh, texturing painting software. This method is really good, regardless of that. So what we'll do is we'll start off with under the chin for stars. Um, we'll see what's happening there. So I'm just going to move this over to where the chin is. So that's pretty much our chin area and I'm going to use the scale option to just scale this up a bit to kind of until it kind of fits that area. If I go underneath now here you'll see that the UVs are pretty much quite similar to the ones that I have here. So if I stitch that up uh, that shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, again uh, for the stitching option, I'm going to use. Um, so I'll bring that up a bit. And initially, it might stretch slightly, but um, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, just to make sure which side is which before we actually start stitching. Okay, so we're doing it the wrong way around. Um, so I'll I'll rotate that around. So I'll bring it around this way. And I'll just make it a bit this bit small at the moment, so I'll make that a bit bigger for now. And I'm going to select these edges, and you'll see that each time I select one of the edges, you can see. Um, okay, if I select these edges. And hit that option. You can see that it'll join up. So, so if I just select all these edges, the ones I want want to join up. So, So 
if I hit this actually because my system is slow I'm, I'm gonna pause it now I'm just gonna do the same thing it's just that it's not allowing me to do anything I'm gonna pause it again and I'm just pretty much gonna take these UVs and use the stitch option here to stitch them up so I'll just pause that so what I've done here is pretty much that stitched it up um, now we'll focus on the next bit which is the side of the face <coughs> we'll select this whole element uh, again um, if I scale this one down and just rotate this one around for now scale it up so it kind of fits the face a little bit better <coughs> at this stage it doesn't so I'm gonna make this one near enough as big so bring that down a bit so, so that's about right size again I'm gonna stitch this area up so if it's better maybe make it a bit bigger <coughs> you could always look at your the size of your um, the checkered pattern to see so um, that's about right there is going to be some stretching that we'll have to fix later on but for now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and stitch this side up by just simply selecting uh, uh, the edge options So if I go around and select all the edges <coughs> and then tell it to connect by just using maybe the central option here, stitch to average center, that'll do it. Um, and I'll I'll go ahead and do that throughout the whole face again. I'll put this on. Uh, I'll I'll stop the video uh, now. Um, I'm going to do that pretty much for both the side of the faces, and then uh, when when we come back in the next video, we should have this area and we'll continue from there.